Hello, everybody. This is Jacob from Wise Beyond Bitcoin. Uh, it's been some time since I've been able to uh, to be on here, and I, I feel blessed to be back. Uh, was out sick for a little bit, but it's awesome to be back. It's great to be able to uh, to be here, to be able to share some information. And today, I just I just want to get into it. I, I really miss it. <laughs> but uh, that being said, uh, if, if you've been here before. Here at Wise Beyond Bitcoin, we talk about the economic impact and potential of the blockchain, blockchain technology, the future of this technology, and we do a little bit of speculation on what technology we think is going to be widely adopted in the future. We like to talk about education around this space, and as always, uh, it, it's all about education. This is not financial advice. Uh, this isn't advice of any kind. Take all of your ideas of advice and all of your vices, throw it out the window. Today, we're just going to get right into UBI. And I think it's something that a lot of people talk about, right? A lot of people talk about the, the idea uh, and the economic impacts of a universal basic income. But a big problem uh, that a lot of universal basic income models have is they're structured in a way where a centralized government controls the monetary policy of the UBI. And uh, in a lot of cases, the way that a, a UBI is funded is through people's taxes in a way that just isn't optimized. And here we have some awesome information that we're going to be sharing with you. Uh, I found this uh, actually on Gitcoin. Uh, this is something that I, I've told you guys before. Gitcoin is an amazing resource if you're looking for new technology that's using blockchain to help better the world. And it's actually uh, a place that I find that a lot of great technology comes out of is through Gitcoin grants. And uh, it's awesome. It's awesome to be able to be a part of a, a community where people think about this. They think about the economic impacts of the future. And so getting into it, who are we talking about today? Well, we were talking about Circles. Circles is a company that's based about putting a universal basic income on the blockchain. And since launching in October 2020, uh, Circles has grown now to over 100,000 users around the globe, which is awesome. I, I love that. Over time, this technology is not only getting adopted, but we're seeing real world economic impacts. And so uh, getting into it, let's see a little bit more about them. I wanna go ahead and we're just gonna go through their white paper real quick, just to kind of get a little bit of the abstract and uh, just go through really what they are. So Circle proposes a new money system called Circles, and it's based on the individualization of cryptocurrencies and a social graph of trust between these currencies. This money system will be used for the purpose of distributing money in a way which over time will lead to the equalization of wealth globally. And I love that because at the core of the cypherpunk philosophy, at the core of a lot of people who build this technology is to have a positive economic impact on those who haven't been, honestly, in my opinion, they've been barred out. They've been shut out from all of the, the great wealth that we see accumulating over time to people who have access to money. And speaking from uh, place of personal experience, it's extremely hard to be able to take yourself out of a <laughs> struggling financial situation to just have a moderate financial situation where you can invest money. And a lot of people, they don't have money to invest in the first place. Your, your, your money is spent on goods and services that you need in order to survive. And a lot of the times it's more expensive to be poor rather than buying uh, one really good pair of work boots. You have to buy 
10 really crappy pairs that only last you a few months instead of buying one pair that'll last you five years. And we see that a lot of times throughout goods and services that you're at an economic disadvantage. And if you are at an economic disadvantage, it's extremely hard to perform at the same level as someone who doesn't have that disadvantage. So seeing that there are people out here who are fighting for a universal basic income in a decentralized way, it's just, it's awesome. Um, so to get further on into their introduction, universal basic income is one of the most cross-culturally appealing political movements of the modern era. It has attracted support from thinkers in every background, including Thomas Paine, Martin Luther King, Stephen Hawking, Guy Standing, Milton Freeman, David Carber. It's seen as this utopian project. And with blockchain technology, these ideals can be withheld or, or can actually be held and not withheld because of the constraint and the limitations on what is and isn't possible. When you have a decentralized public ledger working in a way to be able to support a universal basic income, it allows you to do many, many things. Uh, on the topic of UBI, its popularity has not only exploded in recent years as wealth inequality grows, but until now, the conversation has been primarily viewed through the lens of public policy and bureaucratic action. But now we're shifting from this uh, bureaucratic action and this political barring because of un un not like-minded individuals who have different backgrounds, who have different ideas of how universal basic income should work. And instead, what we're having is we're using the introduction of a global network, uh, a blockchain network, and it changes the conversation about UBI significantly. It changes the way that we can propose to have a universal basic income. And I think a great example is blockchain gaming is a great example. Uh, you're trading your time and you're playing a game for digital assets that could then later be speculated on. Uh, it's not the same as the universal basic income, the play to earn model, but these new models, these new economic models that are popping up because of blockchain technology just go to show that UBI is significantly more possible today than it ever was previously in the history of humankind. <laughs> and it, it's awesome to be thinking about that. It's awesome to be thinking about the impacts that this could have. And so we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about minting uh, the currency. Uh, Circles is a money system that is made up of individual currencies, and they, they work together to form a unified monetary fabric uh, that behaves like a universal basic income. When a blockchain account joins Circles, the system creates and assigns them a unique currency via a smart contract. Smart contracts are immutable, which is awesome because you don't have to worry uh, nearly as much about Yes, you have to worry about the security of your smart contracts, but your smart contract itself is something that isn't going to be changing over time. Uh, this is called a, a personal currency, and all personal currencies operate according to a shared set of rules. Each personal currency continuously mints new coins and awards them to its associated person. Moreover, the amount of coins minted is inflated every year. This is the only way that new money is created in Circle and forms the basis of its UBI characteristics. All currencies minted new coins at the same rate, meaning that new money is co-produced and distributed equally across all members of the system at all times. I definitely enjoy the fact that more people are trying to solve this problem and we could see more, multiple different technologies being built out to try to solve the problem of creating a fair economic system. Uh, we've seen it in Wise Token. I mean, I we, we see it across this space. And I really do think that 
cypherpunks at their core understand that this is a necessity for our future is to change the economic systems of the future so we don't have the same economic problems that weigh us down the same problems that cause political disagreement uh regardless of whether or not you agree with these certain concepts i know some people politically don't agree with the idea of a universal basic income uh Economically speaking, it does make sense to have a universal basic income. It is shown that people who have their basic needs and necessities met live a more fulfilling lifestyle. And they take that money and reinvest it into the economy, strengthening the economic system. Whether people want to believe that or not is entirely up to them. But here we trying to show at Wise Beyond Bitcoin that blockchain technology not only makes this uh, more feasible, but uh, possible maybe even within our lifetime, especially when we have people who are making and creating technology like this. And so to talk more about their inflation, in order to decentivize or de-incentivize hoarding and encourage economic activity, the system will introduce an annual inflation schedule Basically, they want you to sell. They want you to be able to claim your, your currencies and claim the value of the money that you have that's being given to you. And what this means is where all personal currencies will be issued progressively larger amounts of tokens per year and paid out per second, new users will always start issuing at the rate that is constant with all other personal currencies. Uh, they give a bit of an example here if that's a little bit long-winded for you in order to create a useful money for users trust in the currency needs to be made trust is what facilitates the exchange in a system when a user trusts a currency we trust the us dollar for example and the reason why we trust the us dollar is because we agreed over a historic period of time that it had value because at one point in time, the US was an economic powerhouse and any economic powerhouse who has a currency, a global currency, is going to be a trusted system because multiple people are depending on that currency within their own country to be able to facilitate goods and services and trades. And so, we have to think about how we can create trust with this service on the blockchain. Uh, when a user trusts a currency, they tell the system that it's the equivalent to any other. Circle's currency is one that is trying to develop this trust in an interesting way. The idea of blockchain not being real money or real economic value is constantly being uh, <laughs> memed about in popular culture that NFTs aren't worth anything, that this crypto is a big bubble, it's going to pop, that digital assets are fake because they're non-tangible. But I would also argue in the same light that so is your credit score. So is the money that you have in your account that you don't physically own. If you have a debit card, it's not money that you own. That's a non-public ledger being held by a bank that you're trusting to disclose that information. And quite honestly, I like the idea of an open public ledger that anyone can verify, that anyone can look through, because it's more transparent than our current system that we live in today. I very much think that projects like Circles is going to be the future of blockchain technology. If you'd like to check them out, if you'd like to learn more, not just about the project itself, but who they are, come check out their website. Come check them out. Look through some of the core team members and go through, go through their newsletter, go through some of the information that they have. 
They talk about transparency, where they're getting funding from, uh, how you can work with them. It's amazing to see the future impact that's happening within this space. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. You guys have a great one. And until the next time, namaste.